Hello, welcome to 427 McIntyre, Fairborn, Ohio. Here I am standing out in front of this house, and number one, this is way bigger than what it looks. We have a full, partially finished basement, it's mostly unfinished, but we have a second full bathroom in the basement. The backside of the garage was converted to a family room, so we have a living room, family room, and really the kitchen, dining room, and living room more is more of a great room, very open floor plan. And there is a massive enclosed porch, floor to room, morning room, whatever you want to call it on the back. So tons of living space, tons of storage, multiple updates in here. Very, very nice house. Next, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so here I just walked through the front door right here and looks like all of these windows have been updated in this area. Could be a good spot to put a bench seat to take your shoes off, kind of like the glorified mud room. And then this opens up into the kitchen, and wow, talk about an open floor plan. Family room over there, that was uh, really the backside of the garage. This section here is still garage, so you, know, you could put a mower and store some things in there. But can't really put a full-size car, but can convert that. You could convert that back if you wanted to, but this is a gorgeous kitchen. 42-inch uh, cabinets on the walls, solid surface countertops. Have a uh, Benihana type oven here with a little overhang right there. And right here, the appliances do stay. Uh, that's not blue, that's the protective filament on there. Stainless steel refrigerator. And I have a surprise, you might have seen it. We have a Florida room that is just massive. I'm gonna show that to you last. Bathroom number one. We do have a full bathroom in the basement. Same marble type look uh, in the basement. I don't know that that is marble, but looks like it. Solid surface countertop, and all of this has been updated. Bedroom one, this is on the back right. One thing I like about all three of these bedrooms is they all have overhead lights. All of the closet doors have been updated to six panel doors. New doorknobs as well. Bedroom number two, and I might have these labeled differently, uh, but this would be the smallest bedroom here. This is in the middle of the house on the right side if you're looking at it from the street. And this would be our largest bedroom. Uh, this is on the front right of the house. I have a little recessed cubby there, be perfect for a dresser, a little work area. Again, all of the doors, six panel doors. And come back through here, we have multiple areas where you could make a fourth bedroom if you need it, or possibly even a fifth bedroom. Coming over here, this is that back side of the garage that was converted to a family room. And that door takes us to the garage. There are pull down stairs in the garage going up to the attic. And then one of the biggest enclosed porches, floor to rooms, morning rooms that you will ever see in this price range. And this is where I say, you know, you could potentially add another bedroom in here. And the square footage of the house, to my knowledge, does not include this because there is no HVAC out here. So no air conditioning and no furnace, but door going to the backyard. We have little recessed areas in here and tons of windows. There's our backyard. But we have a living room, a family room, a rec room, and we have a basement. So tons of living space in this house, which is a value with the updates that have been done at this price. Next, let me meet you down in the basement and show you that because we have a second full bathroom down there as well. And there's loads of possibilities. And that's where we're going next. That's the basement door. All right, so here I just came down to the basement. We have multiple entertaining areas down here. Big section here runs from, this is the front of the house over here, all the way to the back of the house. And, you know, the basement is not finished, but there are some finished areas like this bathroom here. Second full bathroom, and check this out. Very, very nice, looks, I don't know that that's marble, but looks like marble have a shower door on here very very nice one of the nicest basement bathrooms that you'll see in this price point another area over here could be a theater room office billiard room uh, we do have an updated panel box 
and you have plenty of open spots if you wanted to add some circuits. This is our washer and dryer area. Here's our water heater that does not look very old and here's our furnace does not look very old. And at the time of shooting this video, it's 95 degrees outside. Uh, whoever was here working on the house had the air set down to 60 degrees and it is 63 degrees inside this house. So this air conditioner definitely, definitely does this job and works. Next, I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they would be happy to show you this fine updated home in Fairborn here, just minutes from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Wright State University, great location, close to everything. I mean, this kitchen's out of this world. This is a very expensive kitchen update here. So we look forward to talking to you and thanks for watching.